Hello dear students, this is the part 2 of the chapter 10 that is light of standard 8. In this video we are going to talk about the image formation by a spherical mirror. In this pre previous class we talked about spherical mirror that what is it, uh, how many types of it. So here how image is formed with the help of spherical mirror. So first point, the nature, position and size of the image formed by a concave mirror depends on the position of the object in relation to point P, F and C. What is the meaning of this? So see here, suppose this is a, so first we are talking about concave mirror. So suppose this is a concave mirror. Now this point now here, this is the pole, this is the focus, this is the center of curvature, let. Now the nature, position and size of the image found by a concave mirror depends on the position of the object. What is the position of the object? Whether the position of the object is at C or beyond C, between C and F or F or between F and P, depending upon different different positions of the object, the position of the image will vary. Okay. That is the meaning of first point. Okay. Now, in the second point, the image form is real for some position of the object. It is found to be virtual image for a certain other position. Now, as we saw that with respect to different different positions of the object, the position and size of the ob image vary. Now, for some positions, the image is real. For some position, the image is virtual. What is real image? What is virtual image? We will see in the coming slides. Now, the third point, the image is either magnified. Magnified means the size of the image is more than the size of the object. Reduced, that means the size of the image is less than the size of the object or has same size. That means the size of the image and the size of the object are same depending on the position of the object. So, depending on the position of the object, the size of the image may be more than the size of the object, may be less than the size of the object or may be equal to the size of the object. The representation of image formed by spherical mirrors using ray diagram. So, when an image is formed with the help of spherical mirror, how to represent the image? So, those images can be represented by using some ray diagram that is using ray, those diagrams can be made. So, the intersection of at least two reflected ray give the positions of image of the point of point object. So, if you want to make a ray diagram, then at least two rays has to be selected so that the reflected rays will meet at certain point and at that point image will be formed. So, there are certain rules before going to the ray diagram, there are certain rules that need to be followed before drawing the ray diagram. So, first rule is a ray parallel to the principal axis after reflection will pass through the principal focus in case of concave mirror or appear to diverge from the principal focus in case of convex mirror. What do you mean by this? So, let us try to understand. So, here this is the concave mirror, this one is the convex mirror. So, here now this is the principal axis as you can see this axis passes through center of curvature, focus and pool. Now, this is the incident ray. This incident ray and the principal axis both are parallel to each other. So, rule number one tells you that if the incident ray is parallel 
to the principal axis then the reflected ray this is the reflected ray this reflected ray will pass through the focus okay the incident ray is parallel to the principal axis so the reflected ray will pass through focus okay this is the first rule here one thing you should keep in mind that this is the incident ray this is the reflected ray this is the point of incident if you draw a normal to the point of incident this is incident angle this is reflected angle that these two are equal so this normal will pass through center of curvature okay this one you should keep in mind now in case of convex mirror what happened this is the principal axis this is the incident ray the incident ray when strikes the mirror at a certain point it gets reflected back now as it is moving away from the mirror here if you draw the imaginary line if you pull this one backward imaginary line this virtual line this imaginary line will pass through the focus okay so this is what is the meaning of this statement okay next one a ray passing through the principal focus of a concave mirror or a ray which is directed towards the principal focus of a convex mirror after reflection which will emerge parallel to the principal axis what do you mean by this you see from here you can see that if the incident ray this is the incident ray if this incident ray is passing through the focus then after getting reflection this reflected ray will be parallel to the principal axis that means this is just the opposite of fast rule what fast rule told you that if the incident ray is parallel to the principal axis the reflected ray will pass through the focus the second ray tells you that if the incident ray if the incident ray this one this one here if the incident ray is passing through the focus then the reflected ray will be parallel to the principal axis just opposite to this one, first one this is also same if the incident ray incident ray is virtually here passing through the focus then the reflected ray reflected ray will be parallel to the principal axis okay now next point a ray passing through the center of curvature of a concave mirror or directed in the direction of the center of curvature of a convex mirror after reflection is reflected back along the same path what do you mean by this now let us try to understand see this is the image of a concave mirror this is convex mirror here point number 3 tells you that if the incident ray this is the incident ray if the incident ray passes through the center of curvature like this then at this point it will strike the mirror now it will come back through the same path this is the reflected ray this is the reflected ray this one is the reflected ray that means the incident ray and the reflected ray will move in the same path but in opposite direction if the incident ray will come from upward to downward the reflected ray will move from downward to upward through this center of curvature here in case of convex mirror also this is the incident ray it moves in this direction it cannot pass through the mirror so virtually if you extend this one it will come pass through center of curvature so here the reflected ray reflected ray that is this one the reflected ray will move along the same path but in opposite direction this is the third point or third rule okay now fourth one a ray incident obliquely 
to the principal axis. This word is important. Obliquely. Obliquely means with some angle. A ray incident obliquely to the principal axis towards a point P, that is pole of the mirror, on the concave mirror or a convex mirror is reflected obliquely. In the incident and the reflected ray follows the laws of reflection. What do you mean by this? Let us try to understand. You see, this is concave and this is convex mirror. Whether it is concave mirror or it is convex mirror, if the incident ray will directly fall on the principal axis or on the pole rather than passing through either center of curvature or focus, if the incident ray will directly incident on the pole, then the reflected ray, this is the reflected ray. Okay. Now, this incident ray and the reflected ray will obey the law of reflection. That means, here the principal axis will behave like or will act like an, a normal. This incident ray and the reflected ray here, this is the angle of incidence and this is the angle of reflection. So, these system will obey the law of reflection. Here, in case of convex mirror also, this is the incident ray. It is falling on the pole. This is the reflected ray. This is the angle of incidence. This is the angle of reflection. So, this system will also follow the laws of reflection. Okay. Now, next point here, image formed by a concave mirror. How, with the help of these four above points, these four above laws you might say, here we try to understand how image is formed by a concave mirror. With the help of concave mirror, how image is formed. So, as we saw that image formed with respect to the different different positions of the object. So, first position is object is at infinity with respect to the mirror. Now, you can see this is the object AB is an object which is present at infinity from the mirror MN. Okay. Here you can see. Now, what is the position of the object? Infinity. Okay. Now, uh, these are the incident ray these are the incident ray. This one is one of the incident ray. This is another incident ray. Okay. So, this is the reflected ray which passes through the focus. This is also the reflected ray which passes through the focus. So, when in case of concave mirror, when the two reflected ray will actually meet at that point, image is formed. Okay. Now, you can see that this is the size of the object, this one. This is the size of the object, which is present at infinite distance. Now, this point is the size of the image. Okay. So, what is the nature and characteristics of the image? Where the image is formed or position of the image at the focus f. This is the focus f. Highly diminished point size, the size of the image is very small compared to the size of the object. Very diminished point size, real and inverted. The, it is real. What is real image? The This reflected ray will meet at certain point. If the reflected are actually meeting at certain point, then real image is formed. It is inverted, opposite to it. That means, this. it will look, suppose if I somehow magnify this one, this point, if I somehow magnify the image here, here, and if I zoom on it, then it will look like this. This is A, and this one is B. Now, you can see here A is vertically upward, B is vertically downward, here it is opposite. A becomes vertically downward. B becomes vertically upward. That is the meaning of inverted or you can say vertically inverted. Okay. Then, second point, beyond C, 
the position of the object is beyond C. This is C center of curvature beyond C. Here, this is one of the incident ray. Okay, this is the reflected ray. As we know, as you apply the laws that we have studied, four points. But if the incident ray is parallel to the principal axis, then the reflected ray will pass through the focus. So this is the reflected ray; it will pass through the focus. Okay. Now, this is another. This is another ray. Okay. This is another incident ray. If this incident ray, this incident ray will pass through the center of curvature. It will come and strike at certain point. The mirror, then it will reflect. It will reflect back on the same path. It will follow the same path. In this path it is coming to A C M. Then the reflected ray will move from N C A. Now these two rays. This is ray one, and this is ray two. This is ray one, reflected ray one, reflected ray two. These two ray will meet at certain point. At this point, image is formed. And this is the size of the image. That means a dash, b dash. Now you can see what is the position of the object beyond C. Here the nature of the image is. It is from the image itself. You can see that it is real because the rays are actually meeting. Inverted, diminished means smaller the size with respect to the object. That means size of the image is less than the size of the object. And what is the position of the image between F and C? Okay, so between F and C, the this is the position of the image. The size of the image is smaller than the size of the object that is diminished. It is real. Why? Because the rays are actually meeting and it is inverted. Okay. Now, case three at C, same point. This is the incident ray which is parallel to the principal axis. It will come back. It will pass through focus, and this is a second incident ray will passing through the focus. Applying rule, if the incident ray passes through the focus, then the reflected ray will be parallel to the principal axis. Now this is the first reflected ray. This is the second reflected ray. These two reflected ray will meet at this point. Where this B dash A dash is the image, A B is the object. Now the position of the object is at C. This one position of the image is also at C. Now these are in same size, same size and real and inverted, which I have explained. Okay. Next point between C and F, C and F, that is center of curvature and focus. That means if the object will lie between center of curvature and focus, and this is the incident ray. And this incident ray is parallel to the principal axis, so the reflected ray will pass through the focus. And this one, it will move in this direction. Okay, as it will pass through the center of curvature. It will come back to the same path. These two reflected rays will meet at point A dash, where image is formed. Now, what is the position of the object here? Here, the position of the object is in between center of curvature and focus. This is the object. There, this is the image. Now, the position of the image is beyond C. Here, you can see that it is lying beyond C. The size of the image is more than the size of the object that is enlarged. Now, real the rays are actually meeting, so it is real and inverted. Okay, it is vertically inverted. Okay. Now, the next one, if the object is placed at focus, at focus, so what will happen? Now, see, this is the incident ray. Which is parallel to the principal axis. Again, while getting reflected back, it will pass through the focus. Then, this is the same incident ray. Again, as this one will pass through center of curvature. Okay. So here, these two ray will never meet because it seems to be parallel. 
or we can consider that these two ray will meet at infinity at infinity okay so what is the position of the object position of the object is at focus here position of the image it is at infinity now size of the image it is highly enlarged as we are considering these two reflected ray will actually meet so this is real and inverted okay now last point that is between pf and that this is the pole this is the sand focus if the object will lie between pole and focus then what will happen now this is the incident ray the incident ray is incident at focus so this is the reflected ray okay this will obey the laws of reflection here this is the uh, second incident ray it will come back and pass through the center of curvature okay. then these two ray as these are diverging from each other they will not really meet so virtually if you take this one if you pull this one in the backward direction they will meet at certain point virtually they will meet okay so the hidden lines means they are virtual they are not meeting at actually they are not meeting so here we can consider this one as a virtual image because the rays are not actually meeting so virtual image virtual it is erect virtual and erect erect means suppose this is object this is the head and this is the tail this is the image this is the head and this is the tail so head and tail remain same irrespective of its size that is called erect and so here what is the position of the object position of the object is between p and f nature of the image this is behind the mirror behind the mirror here this side behind the mirror this side it is enlarged that means the size of the object is more than size of the in sorry size of the image is more than size of the object okay now it is virtual and erect okay here you might have noticed uh, something that there are six positions of the object with respect to the six position of the object there are six different different positions of the image in the first five positions of the object the real image is formed this is the only position of the object where virtual image is formed where this could be one sort question that what is the position of the uh, object or for which position of the object virtual image is formed okay so this is the answer between p and f okay now what are the uses of concave mirror concave mirror can be used in different different purposes the torch that we use the torch light search lights vehicle headlight we use vehicle like bike scooty and all that so its headlight here it is made up of concave mirror saving mirror dentist use concave mirror you might have gone to dentist to show your teeth okay so show your tooth show your teeth so they use the mirror that is concave mirror and solar furnaces solar furnaces are used for cooking purposes so these are some of the uses of concave mirror okay so in the next class we will discuss about image formation via convex mirror okay thank you and have a nice day